Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Jocelyn Valderas. I am a third grade year nine teacher. And today I'm going to do my classroom setup video number four. I'm getting to the end of my classroom setup. I just have like a few little things here and there I need to finish. So this morning I actually did a whole morning of planning math planning with my grade level teammate i love her by the way she is new this year and well not new to this not new to teaching but she's new to the school and so far she has just been so great so helpful she has like 15 years of teaching experience which is awesome so yeah it's just been a great morning of a lot of math planning very productive i just came back from chipotle thought i would treat myself to something because Today's math planning was optional. We did not have to come. We did get time, time carded for it, but I was like, hey, I'm going to enjoy this first. Then I'm going to work on some editing and probably just a couple of more last minute planning things we talked about for math. And then you will get to see my classroom set up for day four. this idea from elementary in the mitten she's a youtuber as well she actually took her old borders and she just flipped them over to create a white border and so i just think it's a great way to save money and then you don't have to go to the store and find some but the thing is at the bottom part i don't even know where that went i think i lost it or maybe one of the kids I, if i can remember i think one of them took it down and i just never replaced it so i don't know what to do i might have some extras i could use but yeah i just thought this was a great idea and i think she actually got it from another teacher who said the same thing so she actually got hers out of the trash can and put them back up so that was a great save right there so yeah i'm happy with how it turned out it looks a little kind of funky right here but oh well nobody's gonna notice all right finally finished as you can see the top is a little bit wider like the scallops than these or a little bit larger these are um those are more spaced out these are a little bit more together but i don't really care it looks fine i'm just really glad i found some white ones so now i'm going to put this over here and i actually bought a cubby storage i'm excited to show you guys <laughs> not thinking through something i don't know what i was thinking the i guess i just didn't think that all of the stuff for the bulletin like the quotes and stuff were going to be this large because my affirmation mirror is going to go here where am i going to put the growth words i have no idea so i don't know what to do now i feel stuck like i really wanted this to be my growth mindset area i love this i'm not going to use the old one so i don't know should i put it over there mm, that's gonna be my math area it just doesn't make sense if i were to put it like here because then birthdays over here with my calming stuff i don't know i just think i just think i need a brainstorm so I think what I'm going to do right now is put up the cubby um, storage unit thing that I bought, assemble it and put it here, and then put the cubbies in, and then, I don't know, we'll see. I might put these words up there. I don't know how that would look. Maybe kind of weird. Maybe move the brain up there. I don't know. I think that'd look funky, honestly, but... 
I have no idea. Does anyone have any ideas? Because I don't know. Where do you think I should put it? That's my reading one. That's my going to be my writing and math. That's my word wall. Birthdays. Quotes. Hmm. As you can see, putting together a classroom is a lot of trial and error. It's my ninth year, but that doesn't mean I have it all together or know how to do everything, you guys. I'm always making mistakes, and that's okay because progress, not perfection, right? I don't know why this bulletin board is bugging me so much. Do you guys ever have that bulletin board where you're just like, Ugh, I don't know what to do? Yeah, so we'll see what happens. So this is the six cube organizer I bought from Target. Someone donated to my classroom, so I was able to purchase this. And I'm really happy because I just think this would look a lot cuter and a lot more organized over this metal three-tier shelf thing. So I just am so excited to put this together. You guys, I just think this is so funny how I keep starting things and then something happens. Okay, so I didn't know. Okay, for some reason, I'm, I guess I'm used to shopping at Ikea and I feel like everything there you can assemble fairly quickly. But I did not bring the necessary tools. Like I don't have a hammer. I don't have a screwdriver, so I cannot put this together. Here are all the little things that came in um, the box, and these are the tools I need. So you know how like at Ikea or like at other places, you just need that little thing that comes in the box and you can put it together really quickly? Yeah, that's not what this is like. So I'm gonna do something else. Let me go check my to-do list because I'm a little scatterbrained right now. All right, so it's looking like this is gonna be done tomorrow. That's why I put a T there. And then I'm glad I opened up that box so I can see if I need a screwdriver and other tools and stuff like that. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm gonna take a look at that. Rolling car, I should also open that up to see if I need tools for that. Ladder shelf, I'm just gonna organize that, organize that really quickly, clean room, and then whiteboard. It's looking like it's gonna be a short to-do list for today. I did not need a screwdriver for this one. It is only if I want to put the, like the little knobs on the drawers, which are these right here. I think one day I probably will once I maybe get something else for the classroom. But for now, I'm going to actually leave it like this because I'm going to be putting some labels that I saw on, I think it was Instagram. I'll put a picture right here though of what they look like or I saw it on somebody's page. I'll put the name down here. Um, but I saw that she did this and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so cute. I think it's so cute. Such a great way to organize all of my stuff for the week. I already use, I did use some other ones before, but I'm going to be using those bins for another thing. So I just thought I would purchase this and this was actually donated to my classroom as well. Look at this. This is so funny. My students from 2014 to 2015 made me this. Miss Balderas is our hero. These are things that I just can never get rid of, so they're just stashed here in my room. I had it up on my wall for a long time. There are going to be some things that you just do not want to get rid of, and this is one of them just because it was so sweet of them. So here is my classroom job chart. I've had this one for about five years now, and it is kind of falling apart, so I am going to be making a new one later this year. I'm not even going to worry about it for the first day of school, honestly, because it still works. Uh, I just want to kind of change up the color and make it look more presentable. For now, I do have my distributors and collectors. I have a, someone who passes out lunch cards, an electrician for lights, a recycler. This did say computer technician, but I didn't really use that one, so says stamper um but i don't think i'm even gonna have stamps this year so i'm probably not even gonna use this one um uh, messenger they go to the office board eraser caboose they stand at the end of the the line calendar helper teacher's assistant line leader custodians sorry <laughs> custodians and librarian so and the cool thing about this though when i originally made it was that i was like okay i can add other jobs like really easily i have extras of these um, so I can just like stick them on and 
yeah, that was the whole intention behind that. I might make something similar to this and just have like extra pocket charts because during the year, you always think of another job. You're like, oh, I should add this job or I should add another one. So like I was saying, during the year, you always add another job that you think of or you just see a need in the class and you're like, oh, I wish I made a job for that one. But this way you have extra envelopes and you can just quickly stick something on and there you go, you have a new job. So I think I'm going to leave this alone, but I do have these right here. I'm gonna get them. Um, these, I'm going to write the students' names on them so I can put them into the little envelopes. But I'm going to do this at home just because I don't need to waste my time in the classroom writing on these. Okay, so for now, I just put the Target bins that were the $3 ones from the dollar section on this ladder shelf here. This is going to be labeled as well. This is like where the students can turn in anything like maybe homework or important sheets from their parents and things like that. Those are our reading log sheets. And then this is like just lined paper that they might need. And then here, um, I think I'm gonna put the Brainiac challenges. Actually, I'm gonna probably move this around and play around with it, but yeah, I think I, I kind of switch it out every year. But I don't need to get it 100% done for the first day. I can probably, you know, figure that out the first week of school. All right, guys, so I pretty much finished up the whiteboard area. I am going to be probably doing some updating, as you can say. Here is my class rules. I think I'm going to get like a new poster and just fix it up and there's some things that are fading as well already here and there are probably some expectations that I want to add. This is our voice level. So for zero, silence is golden, one spy talk, two low flow, three formal normal, four loud crowd, and five out of control. As you can see, I've had this for a long time already so I think I'm just going to update that and just make it look a little nicer. So for today's schedule, um, for the schedule of the day, I have always used um this or one of these but i just feel that like every single day it's constantly changing as you can see i've had to like flip things around and buy more and all that stuff so i think it's just time to write it out i know that it just looks cuter when it's like on a, a pocket chart with like the index cards and all that but i just you know i'm gonna keep it simple this year and i just write it out because every day is changing so here it's going to have like the um, the morning work, uh, midday work, and then like afternoon work. Hello everyone, good morning. So I don't know what happened in the last, um, on the last day of classroom setup with like my iPhone. It just like stopped working and the whole last clip got ruined and I didn't realize. So that transition might've been a little awkward. Basically I just finished like showing what I was doing on my board or how I set it up and all of that. So you guys last saw my classroom on Tuesday. So basically Wednesday and Thursday yesterday, um, we had teacher PDs. So they were our actual work day. I didn't really film yesterday um, or on Wednesday. I didn't get any content, I guess, because the whole day I was, whenever we would have a break from our PDs, I would run over to my classroom, get some stuff done, go back. And then another break, run over to my classroom, get some stuff done and go back and so on and so on. So I just didn't have that like time to like get my camera out or anything like that. And then I only stayed like maybe an hour after uh, work each each of the days so I didn't really feel like filming or anything I guess so yeah today is Friday it's my last day in the classroom it's our last full work day so I'm excited to just get the little stuff done that needs to get done and I'm also going to be showing you guys what are some of the other things that I have um, that I've been doing like at home on the side or like Wednesday and Thursday like I mentioned I would come over and get some stuff done I'll show you guys what I have gotten done so far um, I have just kind of come to a place where I don't need my classroom to be perfect the first day of school or if something is not done, like for example, I really want to get the affirmation station mirror finished. I have everything, but I haven't laminated everything yet. So if that's not done the first day of school, it's okay. Like it can, it will get done the next, in the next week or so, you know, but I am going to try and get that done. I feel like the only thing that needs to really have, um, or really be on the students' desks are some, or just have some crayons and markers available for them for like any crafts or activities we'll be doing for the day. I, obviously the activities, a pencil, 
and that's it on the student's desk. I'm also going to put like a little gift. Um, it's kind of like, I'll show you guys, um, but I don't have them right now. So maybe I'll just uh, follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I will be posting them on Sunday night, I believe. So I am going to be vlogging the whole first day of school as well. So I'm excited about that. And I'll be showing you guys more about what I'll be doing that day when it comes and I'm also going to be doing a whole first week in the classroom thing as well so that's gonna be exciting yeah let's just get started with classroom setup day what day is it now is this is day four day five I would official day five so here we go so I have some exciting stuff to share first off I have my meet the teacher letter for this school year and I got this from Miss Jacobs Little Learners. I absolutely love her TPT. She's so creative. She has a lot of awesome um, color palettes that I love. So I have my about me section. I covered it up because I have some personal information here. And then my fun facts and some favorites. So I'm excited about these. And I sent these to Staples to be printed. Like I said, I don't have a color printer, so I would love one eventually. But yeah, so that is for that. And then over here, I got some of these. Um, these are from Teaching with Coffee and Mascara. So I used my own Bitmoji and I just kept these simple. You can like be very elaborate with them and add more decoration, like banners, borders, all that stuff. But it was late last night and I was tired. So I just quickly put these together. And these are the um, different greetings my students get to choose from when um, coming to school. So when they're walking into the door, they can point at the one they want to um, do, and then we'll do that one together. So obviously because of COVID reasons, I did a lot of air stuff, like elbow bump, air guitar, stuff like that. So I'm excited to use these. for the first day of school. So I will be handing each one of these to a student who will be taking it home to their guardians or family or whoever they're with. So in the packet, I already showed you guys is the meet the teacher um, letter right here. And then it's a student interest survey. So it asks questions like, what's your full name? What do you like to be called? Um, how do you get home? Who helps you with your homework? All that kind of stuff. And then on the back, there are some additional questions like what subject do you not like? What kind of books do you like? What do you do on the weekends? Just so that I can get to know them. So I can and start incorporating their likes into our lessons, into the classroom environment and all that. So that is that. And then I'm going to be doing the jar the name jar activity and I'll talk more about this on the first day of school but basically this and the um, jar worksheet that goes with it and then the last thing is our my wish list this is what I would like for my class so my school is pretty good about if I need like crayons or if I need construction paper or scissors um, or glue or things like that, my school is really good about, you know, providing that for us. But there are like some additional things that are kind of more like wishes, like cardstock paper, um, multicolored cardstock paper. Uh, you can never have too many pencils, which is why I put pencils here. Um, and then Expo markers, just because I feel like that's another thing actually, you can never have too many Expo markers, especially with all your students. They're always going to lose them, leave the caps off, and then they dry up and all that kind of stuff. And you know how it goes. And the next thing is tissue, Kleenex paper. I just, I just feel like you can never again have enough, um, have too much of that. And also I feel like when it comes to families or guardians, they love to give you the best tissue paper, the kind that actually like leaves your nose feeling nice, not like all like scratched up and stuff. But yeah, and then the last thing is the Clorox wipes, just because that's a huge need. And a uh, a parent actually last year brought me Clorox wipes that were like kid friendly. So yeah, so that is my welcome packet I'm going to pass these out the first day of school and then I back to school night I'll go more into detail and all that which is going to be online also on zoom
right, so here is how the door is looking. It says ready to grow just because it has been a crazy long year and a half. And I know a lot of the students are probably, you know, just feeling anxious, worried, concerned, but also excited to be back. So I just want to encourage them that growing's not going to be easy, but it's worth it. And just to have that mindset. So I put all their names on the little plants and the cactus and all that. And then down here it says, when you enter this room, you are authors, leaders, scholars, historians, explorers, detectives, creators, thinkers, and important. So right here, I left some space and I'm going to be putting the morning greetings that you saw a little earlier. So I'm going to work on those next. So I'm really excited because I'm finally able to use my Scotch thermal laminator. A friend gave this to me from my Amazon wish list in the spring and I talk about it in another video um, but yeah thank you so much Excel this is going to be so helpful I'm going to be laminating these and as well as the ones from uh, or for my affirmation station Okay, so my first impression of this is, wow, this is amazing. Like I thought it was gonna be so much harder than it actually was. All I had to do was, like you guys saw, put the um, things I wanted to laminate inside this pouch. And then literally I just put it right here. It's easy, yeah, it's as easy as one, two, three. Just put it in, comes out really nicely. So I'm really happy right now with how it turned out. Like I said, I am so happy with the turnout of these. If, this is my first time using like my own laminator. Um, I usually use like the schools, but that one always jams and right now I don't think it's working. And this quality uh, is just so much better. I don't know if it's because it's like, let me see, I got this one. It's the five mil. So maybe the other one that the school uses is three. Um, but anyways, I love it so much. I did these, the greetings, and then the affirmation station. I might actually be able to put it up on the mirror right now as soon as I'm done with the greetings. And then this is for my rolling cart to put right there on that cart. But I'm not going to get to that now. I'll probably just do that next week after school sometime. But yeah, so I'm going to work on that later. So this is going to go away. And yeah, stay tuned. I'm just going to speed up the last part of the day and then show you guys. So like I was saying, I'm just going to speed up the last part of the, um, my work time here and then just show you guys a little, um, just some of the things I worked on, like I said, on the last two days and then we're gonna call it a day and I'm gonna go and relax and have a great last weekend before the first day of school on fr Friday, on Monday. But yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be awesome, but yeah, let's get to work. Finally, I'm all done. I am just shocked with how quick that was. I thought I was gonna be in here a little bit longer, but I am satisfied and I feel like the room looks good for the first day of school. Like I said, there are still some things that I need to do, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I have done so far that I did not show you guys before. So I put this here, math, and I do not have a Cricut. That is something I really want, but I just did this by hand as well as this over here leaders are readers so i put a poll on my instagram if you don't follow me i am miss balderas um but i asked everyone okay is it leaders are readers or readers are leaders and so many people 
said readers are leaders, but then the ones that put leaders are readers send me messages trying to convince me of why and they convinced me. I also just kind of like organized my books a little bit. This looks really messy right now. I still have to go through like those, those up there, those there, those there. Here also, these are already done by reading level, but I might also get new bins too, because I feel like these are getting a little bit old and they were given to me my first year of teaching, which that was so sweet, but I actually really like this color. The, um, the Target ones that I got, I really like them. So I don't know, I might get some more. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so for the classroom jobs, I just use these popsicle sticks and put their names on there. Like I said, I might update that later. Over here, I lost my August label, so I just put a pocket chart thing there. Not even stressed out about it. So there we go, there's that. And then, what else did I do? Oh, I added student pictures. I don't want you guys to see them, so I'm gonna back up, but I added all my student pictures there that um, students have given me or just like classroom pictures. As you guys already know and saw today, finished the door. I really like how this turned out. This is so cute. Dab, air guitar, peace sign, dance, wave, air hug, elbow, bump, and favorite TikTok move. So whatever they want to do, they are going to do. So I just thought this was really cute. Moving on over here. I also finally, if you guys saw my last video, you will see how hard it was for me to organize this bulletin board because nothing was fitting and I had no idea what to do. So I just stuck the, uh, the image of the brain over there on the in the corner. So hopefully that's okay, it looks okay to me. I mean, I'm not like 100% like completely happy with it, but it's pretty close. I'll say that at least I got all the words up there. So I'm happy with that. So I got that done. And then right here, since I have some space, I was thinking of putting kind of like some, um, I forgot what they're called, but they're like folder, um, hanging folders, and you can put like different worksheets in. So worksheets, re worksheets related to um, growth mindset will probably be there. And then here are my calming stations. I have yet to organize those, but I, like I said, I'm not worried about that right now. And then over here, this is the affirmation station and I think it came out so cute. So I'm really happy with the, with the material also. Um, it's like I said, really thick and I hope the kids don't like tear them off and stuff, but yeah, so that is that. And I'm so excited for the first day of school, you guys. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna close out the vlog here. You'll be seeing this on Sunday, August 15th, hopefully, if I upload it on time. So yeah, I am so excited. Our first day is on Monday, the 16th. So the next time I see you guys will probably be on the 17th. I will be uploading a video of my first day experience. And like I said, I'll also be uploading a whole week experience. So that'll be coming up that next Sunday. So already haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And just follow me along on my teaching journey this year. I am so excited. Like I mentioned in my other videos, it is my ninth year of teaching, but it never is the same. And sometimes when you think you have it all together, you don't. So it's going to be a new year full of experiences and I am so excited for this new group, especially because it's going to be so different than like other years. These students are coming back from a year and a half of no school, like in-person school. So yeah, again, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you guys next time. And